So a fact about me is that I am a notebook fanatic. Notebooks! Ah. Since the beginning of school is right around the corner, I am obviously out there just shopping around looking for the best notebooks. When, you know, the ones that are really unique. That, that has the right look and the right feel, and you just want to write in it and draw in it and tape things to it, and it's 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 that specific notebook that I'm always looking for. Which also means that I'm searching through YouTube, trying to find all these notebook DIYs to make them all cute and quirky. And I've come across quite a few DIYs that teach you how to redecorate an already existing notebook, but I've yet to find one that shows you how to make your own notebook. So, I thought that I would make this video to show you guys how to make your own video. No. Show you guys how to make your own notebook from scratch. So, here we go. What you're gonna need is some colored paper. You need uh, two pieces of paper for the front and back cover. And then one piece of paper for a little flippy thing to put things in to your notebook. And some decorative pieces of paper. You're also going to need some glue. Uh, any glue that clears dry will do. This, I believe, is the Danish version of Mod Pot, according to Google. So, yes. You need a brush to apply the glue with, scissors, some yarn of any color to tie together or bind the notebook with. You need a pencil and a ruler. A hole punch, and of course, you're gonna need some papers. And how much paper you're gonna need depends on how thick you want your notebook. We're gonna double this, so it's gonna end up being around this thick. So just kind of play out and see how much you want. I have no idea how many I have here. I just kind of played that by looking at it and saying that's a good amount. So yeah, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and then fold it in half, making sure that it meets up evenly on both sides, and just kind of press it down, and then you're going to cut it in half. But just uh, remember to divide your papers up into sections before you go, it will make life a lot easier for you and your papers a lot more even. Basically you have, what you do is you take a colored piece of paper, mine is beige, line it up and see where you need to fold it, and then you fold in the sides so it fits with your front or back cover. And then you take the bottom edge and then you fold that up too. So you end up having this thing looking like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it to this down here at the bottom. So you're gonna end up with this little pocket thing. I'm gonna take our glue and put some on a separate piece of paper. And then we're going to start by gluing down the insides of this thing. It's always good to not use a brush that's too expensive because the glue can mess up the hairs of it. Dabs on on here. On here. Just fold in that edge. And now we're going to do the same thing on top of the edge. We just fold it. So, now it says on my glue that it takes 10 minutes to dry. So I'm just gonna put this under something heavy and wait 10 minutes for it to dry. Waiting for that to dry, we're just gonna measure out where we're gonna use our hole puncher. And I can see that my hole punch is about half the length of my notebook. So I'm just gonna remember that I'm gonna put it to the, so the edge of my notebook um, matches up with the edge of the hole punch on either side so I get the punches evenly. If your notebook is bigger, I would recommend measuring out your hole puncher and your book and then make little marks along the side of the spine as to where you want the punches to be so that when you punch it, because you're obviously going to have to divide it again, you end up with the punches holes on the right side. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch some holes into this baby. The glue is dry now. And I am gonna attach my pocket to the inside of my book cover. Basically just the same thing. You're gonna take some glue, 
I'm going to apply it to pocket thing. Glue all applied. It's going to line it up here. Put it down. I'm just going to do the same thing as before. Put it under something heavy. The glue has dried and we now have our pocket attached to the notebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch holes in this too so we can um, assemble the notebook. Just line it up with the rest of the notebook. Now if the holes don't match up perfectly, that's alright. You just want to be able to uh, pull your yarn through it. So as long as you can do that, then you're good. We're now going to glue the back sides together here. You just want to get your glue and glue this back side together. Just get like a thick layer on there. I'm going to just uh, saturate the back uh, nice with uh, glue. Make sure you get everywhere. Fill up those holes. I'm just going to go and get a few more pins just to keep it all nice and together. So now we're just going to leave it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. And we're going to apply the yarn to our notebook. The binding of the notebook, I'm going to take my yarn and just measure out around three times the length of uh, my notebook. It's not, it don't have to be that exact. Take the two ends of your yarn, find the middle. You're just going to start at the bottom of your journal. I'm going to take it through, thread the ends, like so. And then tie a knot here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it up to here, then you're going to tie another knot that ends right about where the hole is. Just going to Open it up, stick it through. And then just do the same thing with the other one. There you go. So you end up with the thread going over and in between the two things. And then you just continue this all the way through. All right, so I finished um, tying together my notebook. What I did for the middle part was instead of going on the top, I just tied it through the bottom, one string on either side, and then I repeated what I did first place up here. And then to end it, I just tied a knot up here. I tied a double knot, and then I knotted the end of the string together. And if you don't want this excess part, you can just uh, cut it off. But I quite like it, because that means when you're writing in your notebook, you can like, you can fold it in so you know where you are in your notebook. Basically have your homemade notebook and uh, the next step is to decorate it and this part is of course uh, completely up to you. You can do whatever you want with it to make it your own. Uh, what I've done is that I have these two colorful um, pieces of paper and I'm gonna put them together to make uh, the front of my book where I can write my name on it. So I'm just gonna place this down and take my trusty glue, just add the glue to the paper. Go. Just glue that down on my book. Then gonna do the same thing with my piece here. Again, put this under something heavy and um, let it dry and then we're done. Yay! have it. That was my tutorial on how to make your own notebook. I am quite happy with how this turned out. So um, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and um, what your favorite thing about going back to school is. If you end up making your own notebook by using my tutorial. I would love to see them. So tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram. All my information is in the bar below. As always, like this video if you found it helpful. Share it with your friends who might also like notebooks and uh, subscribe to see my future things. I try to upload every second week so you can see me then. Until then, bye!